<laughs> um, what was your thought when the when the draw was made? Um, yeah, yeah, it was okay. It could have been possibly a bit kinder to us, but um, no, it's the, it's the FA Cup, so I don't think it happened. So um, we're just going to go up there and give it the, our best shot, I suppose. And given your away form lately, was it five straight victories? Perhaps an away draw, not as daunting as it might be. Yeah, um, perhaps, maybe we'll see. You know the. Um, they're doing quite well, Sean Mary. They're top seven in the in a, in a very competitive league. Um, so and we'll have to um, now we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, yeah. Obviously, as you said, our waveform is good, so we'll have to uh, just go up there and give it a good shot. Is the disappointment of Tuesday filtered out the system yet, or do you think that if it hangs around until the weekend, it'll you know, increase the desire a bit? Um, no, our desire is always there. To be fair, and it's always quite high. Um, the thing I've been kind of seeing. Um, Real rise in the expectancy of the Shetland fans just because of the way we're playing, which is fair enough. But I think it needs to be capped a little bit. Like, like there's a lot of people talking about us going to Wembley and you know getting into the third round and pulling a Premier League team in the FA Cup. And like, I think it just needs to be have a little bit of a little bit reined in because um, if you look at the top three in League Two, um, us uh, Southend. Crawley, if you compare the three budgets, like there'll be a massive difference. You know what I mean? So, for us to be going quite well in the league, um, and to be um, going quite well in the JPT and in the FA Cup would be would be really incredible. You know, so um, uh, our desire is there, but I just think maybe just a rein in on the expe expectation a little bit. The draw, though, Tranmere supporters will be expecting to win, won't they? And I just wonder whether that might play into your hands a bit. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they are they are the favourites. They're at home. They're the League One team. They have obviously more to lose than us, like so. We're just going to go up there and give it a real good go. We know we're in good form away from home, as you said. So um, no, we'll just go up there and give it a really good shot. Mark said after the game at Bradford that it was getting to the point where he wasn't having to say much on a match day in his dressing room because you were saying it for him. So what are you saying? <laughs> um, nothing really. You're just st sticking to our good habits. You know what I mean? Um, we have a really good system, you know, at home and and away, and um, we're playing some good football. The lads, it's it's pretty much self-maintained now, you know. Like we just go out and we and we know what needs to be done, and just 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 about reaffirming the good habits. Really, that's all. Like, that's all. I probably talk a lot of rubbish, really, as well, you know. So, but like, it's just a bit of that, and just just trying to motivate people, I suppose, as well, you know, whatever needs saying. And is that? And are those messages ones that you reaffirm in a game as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like it's, it's. I've said all along that it's a real matter of consistency to get out of League Two. So like, I just like to to bring that to each game. It can be quite um, crazy about it sometimes. I really want to be consistent to a, a real high level, but like it, it's, it's the same thing. You know, that it needs to you need to do to get out. Just be consistent. So that's all I'm just trying to keep saying and keep affirming. You know. Just looking at Tranmere's record, you said they're top seven. They don't seem to concede many goals. So, it, it, might it be a game where they'll think, "Oh well, we get one, that'll do." Um, it could do, could do. Like they might also think, as you said, like we're a League Two team, we're coming up. They might just open up and try and try and think they're going to destroy us as well. So, but like, I'm, I'm not too worried about their kind of game plan. To be honest, it's, it's about what we can do to uh, to try and go and win the game and. As I said, it's just about us going up there and giving it a real good shot and seeing what happens. Of the five games you have won on the trot, which was the performance that you thought that was probably the best of the five? Um, the five away games, is it? All right. Um, I really enjoyed Bristol Rovers. I thought that was really good. Um, Bradford was um, a real sterling performance by everyone, so that was that was really good. Um, yeah, I'd probably I'd probably pick Bradford because obviously you kept the clean sheet. And, it's great to have a little one 0 win away from home. It's a really good sign. I got a couple of texts after the game from from players who aren't at the club, like and they were saying it's a real solid result, you know. So it always sends out a good sign when you go to Bradford and win, you know. And the thing about the cup is that whilst you would like to win, there is the possibility of a second chance. Not that you'll go looking for one, but there is a possibility of a second chance if it ends up all square. Yeah, absolutely. That that could always happen. Um, we obviously won't go up there looking for a draw, you know. We go up there to try and win the game, but. Um, yeah, that, that can happen. Hopefully, hopefully not, to be honest. But that could happen. Yeah. And just lastly, against a team from a higher division, uh, first chance, the best chance normally. Yeah, yeah. Trying um, 
as I said, like they're odds-on massive favourites. Like so, we're just going up there and just going to give it a repeat myself and just give it a real good go. And um, yeah, definitely tried to take it on the first attempt, but let's we'll wait and see. Oh, and uh, just going back to what you said about expectancy levels, it's, it's yeah. difficult, isn't it? Because you drew Neil Neil with Hereford and people were a bit of moaning and groaning, a bit of discontent. They've won, you've done so well recently, people are sort of raving about the team. So do you think it just needs to be a bit of a middle ground? Yeah, that's kind of the point really I want to make that, like, um, as I said, like people were expecting us to go all the way to Wembley in the JPT and, and you know, get a really good draw in, in, in further rounds down the line in the FA Cup and, and challenge for League Two, you know, to get a League Two promotion. So I think you just need to just rein it in a little bit because comparing the three budgets as I said of the top three League 2 teams at the moment you know it would be quite stagnant I think if you if you looked at it, us compared to Crawley or us compared to Southend so uh, the, there is good good squad depth here there is good players here I'm not saying that there isn't and there is good quality here but I just think across the three fronts that we need to you know just kind of rein in the expectation levels is it slightly a good sign though? Because yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. people who've seen yeah. who've liked what they've seen and they think you can do something this season. Yeah, so. absolutely, absolutely. It's kind of the, the double-edged sword or whatever way you want to phrase it. That when a team starts doing well, people expect more and more, which is what I wanted to do here. I want what we wanted to do. We wanted to raise expectation levels. We wanted to raise the, the quality of the club and raise what's happening on the pitch, so that gives the fans, you know, that opportunity to come out and support us, like and come out and see good football. But. Yeah, it's just it just goes with the territory, I suppose. I'm just making the point that you know people should just enjoy um, like the how we're going in the league and and get out and support us and just wait and see what happens. Yeah. Have you been involved in any good sort of giant killing or beating teams from higher divisions in the FA Cup? Uh, I'd like to say that I have been, but I haven't really. No, um, no, I haven't really. Have you had any decent runs? Have you, have you got through? To um, we got through to. The yeah the is it the third round when the FAR Premier League team comes in yeah we got through to the third round but we got drawn away to Barrow so that wasn't exactly the uh, the, the glamour tie we were hoping for but um, we actually ended up losing that game but then in that season we got promoted so you know um, it kind of works that way as well you know yeah do you know any of the lads at Tranmere as all of you um, no no I had a little look through the uh, squad right and had a look at the couple of their last games just highlights and stuff but no. I, they're doing really well com compared to what they've done the last couple of seasons. Yep. They're kind of like the league, one version of us, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.